Hello everybody and welcome to this video where we are going to find out what one of the greatest wrestlers of all time has to say about art. Because that's something we talk about here, right? Yeah, this is good. This is good stuff. I'm excited. As you know, I am a fan of the dance inside the squared circle. Okay, I, I always have loved fucking pro wrestling. Just, I have. It's just a lot of fun. The storytelling's great. The psychology's great. The sport of it is great. It's just, it's a lot of fun. I've always liked it. Um, one of my favorite tag teams of all time is a tag team that's out right now, kicking ass and taking names, called FTR. Okay. They are very old school. They understand psychology and they're just, it, it's, it's a joy to watch. Okay. And um, one of the dudes in FTR, Dax Hardwood, he has um, a podcast called FTR with Dax. And on one of the newer episodes, it's not the newest one, but um, it's relatively recent. They were talking about kind of like what wrestling is and i'm going to be paraphrasing a lot of this okay but they were talking about what wrestling is and what what's important in wrestling and all this other stuff and something that's come up in it is something that's actually it's kind of funny because it's um it has a lot of parallels to what we bitch about in the poetry world you know where some people say, oh, that's not art, that's not poetry, and vice versa, and back and forth, and just people screaming into the void, um, trying to make points that nobody cares about, the whole deal. Well, this is going on in wrestling as well. And Dax got kind of heated about it and started, like, getting fucking angry, as he should. And he just blurted this out. And I, I'll explain his point of view with it in a second here. But it, it goes along with this. He just blurted out, like, in anger, art is feeling. Art is feeling. And he's fucking 100% true. 100% accurate. And now, how he was talking about it is basically, and again, I'm paraphrasing, I don't want to put words in his mouth, but what I got from it was there are people who go out there and have matches every week where they almost kill themselves and do crazy spots, putting themselves in danger, putting their um, the person they're in the ring with in danger just to do something cool that'll get like a holy shit chant from the crowd. But 10 minutes later, no one will ever remember that that happened because there was no feeling in it. Nobody cared about the fight. So the thing that makes people care is having an emotional investment in what they're watching. Having a story built for what they're watching. Okay? The only art in that is getting people emotionally invested so they give two shits about what's going to happen that's how it sticks that's how it um transcends time you know what i'm saying like you can think back like if you are a wrestling fan think back to i don't know the last six months of aew wrestling okay and um all of these great matches you know Tell me about it. Tell me about the spots and how they made you feel. Okay? Or you can tell me about how you felt when you watched um, Brett versus Austin at WrestleMania 13. Or Hulk Andre, WrestleMania 3. Or the Mega Powers exploding. Or, um, fuck, the Bloodline. This last WrestleMania. Okay? The art is the feeling, making people feel. And poetry is the exact same way. 
if you make somebody feel that poem is going to stick with that person. If you just wow them with words on a page, like put put down in a very, I don't know, academic way, nobody's going to remember that in a day or two. Okay? But if you make people feel, if you get into their fucking heart and soul... That is what makes lasting poetry. You know what I'm saying? Give credit where credit's due. Not only is Dax a fucking amazing wrestler, but he's a fucking artistic genius now as well. So um, if if you're into wrestling at all, go give um, FTR with Dax a listen to. And if you're not really into wrestling at all, and you want to um, find out more about FTR... I highly recommend the trilogy of matches that FTR had with the Briscoes over the last year. Um, Amazing stuff. Amazing stuff. Okay? So anyway, that's that. Um, So go listen to um, FTR with Dax. Type hard, everybody. Um, Winner Your Mom's Taught Me Prize for Poetry. It ends this Friday. Okay? So if you haven't gone over there, go to igg.me slash at slash your mom. And pick up the only poetry book of 2023 that's worth a motherfucking damn. All right? And I will talk to you all later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. And thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.